But and we're back with Phoenix Wright, passive aggressive attorney. Munch strike. Now is my chance to, to prove it. Fine, we can just make the judge sound like a goblin. Yeah, I'm the judge. See, <laughs> it's not a goblin at all. <laughs> no, a gangster goblin. All right, let's see. Gangster Why? judge. Why? Yeah, say yeah. Fuck him up, see? Why would he know that? Why wouldn't he know that? Uh. It's honey. How do you know that? I may be a loner, but I still do what's my job. I keep up on the reports. There was a bloodstain at the scene, thought to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found in Detective Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detected on that handprint. Oh yeah, I think we tried that too. Mm, so that would mean... The murderer wearing gloves... I'm going to place his hand on top of Officer Marshall's fingerprints. That's the only logical conclusion. You're not fucking, is it? It doesn't make any fucking logic. Nah, it's the only, the only sense. Definitely wasn't there. Fuck you off. Trust me, I've got a knife. Nope, fuck off. I have Don't infinite believe. beard. My beard grows back in two to three minutes. I gotta let him squirm out of this one. I gotta find something. Something decisive to tie Officer Marshall to this crime. Maybe you could try lassoing me, partner. Lassoing? Yeah, with a lasso. Rope. Hog tie. The chances okay, of that happening are a million to one. On the contrary, one would argue just the opposite. The chances of that not happening are a million to one. Get one thing straight, partner. You ain't gonna get no reward of me, from me with a with a mere fingerprint. <laughs> I kind of like lost my anything there. You wanna know why, bitch? And then he proceeds to not explain why. He did. <laughs> I'm actually stumped. Uh... Question. What? That handprint, wasn't it not on a locker but on the floor or something? Um, no, both of them were on lockers. One of them was on ah. Gumshoe's locker and the other one was on Marshall's locker. Okay. Could have sworn there was some blood on the floor for some reason. <laughs> Question, why was his hand oh. the same size? I don't know. Uh, this evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. How exactly are the evidence in that statement just now related? They aren't, are they? Oh, you fucking idiot. Not at all. Please think the facts over before making accusations. I'm taking one, one of your I don't think that won me any points with the I don't think that won me any points with the judge. Alright. Well, time to do the one thing I know how to do. Save! Jeez! <laughs> I mean, I could use a save state, but I've forgotten how to the shortcut for it. Oh. Anyway, yeah, so the murderer's hand and Marshall's hand just happen to be the same size. Uh, that doesn't work, I don't think. Because it's white. Probably not. Oh, yeah, I guess.
you got some stabbings going on. Oh. One person's statement. Unrelated. They're as different as night and day. Umbreon and Espeon. Day man fighting Rob the night man. Kind of like cereal and cereal. One's got to do it with breakfast, while the other one's a type of murder. I'll let you decide which one. <laughs> Judge? Is right, are those seeming like they're totally different? God, you're so fucking dumb. I don't see what homonyms have to do with this. The homonyms. fuck do they even mean? It's a homonym. It's oh, words that sound like other words, but are in fact different words. By my reckoning, anyway. So then, what about that bloody handprint? Was mine. It's no mystery. Please explain. My locker is covered with my fingerprints. It's just so happened. Oh my god. Man, you sure can't open your own locker, but can't figure out your own locker. That's because you, how did you put it, pay your respects once a month? Yeah, that's right. That and one more thing. That locker happens to be mine. I just explained that like ten seconds ago, but in the wrong order. What Isn't that right, do Judge? You need? <laughs> I mean, what I said. That's the locker I used when I was a detective. The locker I still use. That I can't open. All that's in there now, though, is a heap of broken dreams. And my sheriff badge. I see. And my gun. It'd be very strange if my prints weren't all over that locker. Apparently his fingerprints data was never changed. He must have been using this fingerprint lock without even knowing it. Are you starting to get the picture, partner? The picture? Yeah, it's a nice one. I painted it myself. Out of blood. I mean, not my blood, but you know what I'm saying. This point. seal of blood. In the desert, it's just food for the buzzards. There's only one reality, and that's this. The security tape. As long as my trail isn't in there, you can't say otherwise. Motherfucker. This, this isn't going to go anywhere, Mr. Wright. Please get to the camera where you're going with this cross-examination. Yes, Judge Effie. And then continue your testimony, Officer Marshall. And so you'll be put in your fucking place. Any more mess ups, and you'll be losing another little for me. Another, and then another. Wait a second. And then another. That's a new statement. Too bad it wasn't me in that part, in that partner video. They sure can't see that video that you're playing right now. Damn it! Uh, that wasn't it. Uh... It does not see the contradiction. Uh, kill me. Too bad it wasn't in that video right, pardon me. Okay, let me press Only it. Only three to go. What do you mean by that? You want to tie me to this crime, isn't that right, partner? If so, that video is the only direct evidence you have. Objection! But that video is next to useless. It's full of blind spots. Blind spots? It's Places like you can't see. The camera's panning back and forth. The floor isn't shown. If someone was familiar with the camera's position, he could leave the room without being caught on tape. OBJECTION! 
We don't have time for your speculations, Mr. Wright. Well, Mr. Wright, we can show us evidence in this video that indicates if the marshal was present, please do so now. I mean, there's evidence to show that someone left without being seen. But I wouldn't say there's evidence to show that to show that specifically Officer Marshall was there, although you can't see Detective Goodman's face. Very well. Allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. Tread carefully, Mr. Wright, or you might wind up being the one making the mistake. Yeah, you'd have to control tab or something. Now look at the video. That was this incriminating evidence of the witness, Officer Jake Marshall. Oh my god. Boop, boop. So that's him. There he is again. Doesn't do anything. The knife? Oh. There! How's that for evidence? What? <laughs> Please allow me to apologize for my colleague, Your Honor. He gets carried away sometimes. Yes, well, this certainly isn't a first. Will you forgive him too, Officer Marshall? He's not a bad man, just a bit disillusioned. Of course, I'm not putting the gun down on them, boys. Ah, oh, great. Now Edgeworth is defending me. Guess that means I missed the mark. What? Son of a- You fucked up. What did you click on? I clicked on the bloodstain, which means he was that wounded. Mean... I mean, that don't fucking explain why I'm some marshal. Because that was Meekins' blood, right? I mean, I put out the knife. It kind of looks like the one he has on him. <laughs> That could be... that could be anything. Uh... oh shit. Blah 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 he blah! saves, right? Yeah, oh yeah, he did. Uh... Save slots! Aha! Alright, let's do this again. Uh, I think I might have figured out how it is. Hang on. <laughs> Bringing our attention back to the security camera is a mistake I'm afraid you'll soon not forget, Officer Marshall. The days are short in Texas, and so are our tempers. <laughs> I'm not actually from Texas, but could you sum up what you have to say in eight words or less? <clears throat> Very well. You can clearly be seen in this video! That's exactly eight words. I mean, he said very well it's ten words. <laughs> Exactly eight words. Not bad, partner. <laughs> the key lies in a certain locker shown in the video. See this? Oh, shit. Wait, what? Why, Why is the judge say saying that? that? I think that's a typo. Anyway. See this locker that has a slate cloth sticking out? This is the this locker. I'm the fucking <laughs> defense now. Now then, let's rewind the video a bit. <laughs> That's disgusting. Face is disgusting. Oh, the white cloth, it's gone! Her magic. It's the meaning of this, Officer Marshall. When the crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. Then it suddenly appeared. There's only one explanation. 
<laughs> Officer Marshall, you were in the evidence room at the time of the crime. Once more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned away. Cowboy. Order, order! It would seem that that's. Uh... Hold your horses. Sorry, partner, but you got the wrong man. <laughs> so, what if my locker was open? That doesn't mean I'm the one who had his computer go into standby mode so he can't read. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it. <laughs> the murderer needed to hide something, so he opened a locker and stuck it in. Winky face. It's not my fault he happened to choose mine. Mm. As the music what? just stops. Why is everyone staring at me like I'm a wanted man? <laughs> this guy isn't just playing dumb. He really doesn't know. Um, I had a rain on your parade, but you're the only person who can open that particular locker. Oh yeah? I call your bluff. <laughs> you said I opened that locker. Now prove it. Well, this bit's easy. <sighs> a fingerprint sensor? What the fuck's a fingerprint? We talked about this earlier today. The lockers can only be opened by the detectives they belong to. What? What kind of crazy talk is this? Well, Detective Gumshoe did mention something about this. Looking through them, this is illegal than other planets. I mean, in any case, the locks aren't that obvious. Because even some people in the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. You got dumbass cowboy, man. <laughs> so, Sheriff, what do you have to say in eight words or less? Jerky. <laughs> I only got one word for you, partner. No! <laughs> yeah, so that's animation surprised me. <laughs> order, order, witness, explain yourself. If this is a joke, it's the worst I've ever heard. I assure you this is no joke, Officer Marshall. Now then, please tell us what you were doing in the evidence room at the time of the crime. Jerky. Oh, Lay, please answer the question. Cool. What is he now, a bullfighter? That's all right, Officer Marshall. I believe we can figure the rest out from here. We can? Have a look at these floor plans. There is no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. Yet Officer Meekins didn't see Officer Marshall. <laughs> Not so, then where was the witness? It seems Mr. Wright has an answer. That's right. The only possible conclusion. Well then, let's hear it. <laughs> Save. <laughs> In the killer spot. Or the victim spot? I guess. Killer spot makes no sense. It would be victim spot, surely. That'd be this. <laughs> Officer Marshall was standing right here. Yeah, but that's <laughs> that's where the victim took the Goodman was. Correct, unless the man wasn't Detective Goodman. I believe the victim in this video is Officer Marshall. It was you, dressed up like Detective Goodman. Objection! But that's preposterous. Officer Meekins witnessed the detective at the crime scene. Once he saw the man's face, he'd know for sure. Objection! May I point out, though, that Officer Meekins did not know Detective Goodman. He also testified about the man's reaction when confronted. Alright, well, do I have to read that? Oh my god, fine, I'll skip it, god. <laughs> yes, and how did they get to get yes. to respond? He saw him pull the knife on me. Something about the officer's story puzzled me. If the man had his ID card, why didn't he just show it? 
Yes, you would have needed it into the evidence room, so you must have been carrying it. The answer is simple. He couldn't show it. As you can see, the Detective Goodman's picture is on his ID card. Oh, I get it. If he showed that, his cover would have been blown. Officer Meekins would have realized the man wasn't Detective Goodman. Do you have anything to say to this, Officer Marshall? Jerky. <laughs> You've got quite an imagination, partner. We got a term for that. It's called circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial evidence? He's still denying it. You're gonna have to do better than that to break a detective. Unless you have hard evidence proving I dressed up as the victim. Yif. Hmm? Now, oh, I can't say I particularly care for your own cooperative disposition. I can't say I care for your beer, but you don't see me complain again. <laughs> I keep saying that. Leave the judge's beard alone. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have any evidence? Any evidence proven beyond the shadow of a doubt that this fucking bitch is back to murder or whatever? But I have some mushroom just as quick. Well, who am I kidding? I don't have anything like that. I can see the fear in your eyes, partner. Seems you're the one who couldn't take the desert heat. Fuck. This can't be happening. It's so obvious he's the one. What can I do? <laughs> it looks like your lack of experience has finally been exposed. I'll pass on to you what someone told me when I was just starting out. When you run into a wall with no place to go, return to the basics. The basics? For me, that would be what Mia used to tell me. Oh god! Why are you here? Please, not again! <laughs> Nick! Try thinking outside of the box! I shouldn't look for proof that Officer Marshall was in disguise. But rather, I should look for evidence to care about because he was in disguise. Why do you think this locker was open in the first place? What do you mean? There's no reason for Officer Marshall to open his locker at the time of the crime. Yet he did so despite the chance that it might be discovered later as it has been. Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. According to the defense's argument... Officer Jake Marshall dressed up as a equipment at the time of the crime. Then after the crime was... Committed. He opened his own locker for some unknown reason. The fact that a white cloth is sticking out of the locker seems to indicate that he opened it in order to put the cloth inside. Or just what exactly is this piece of cloth? Perhaps. Perhaps the video is the key to all our unanswered questions. I don't have any evidence, so this video is my only shot. Very well, let's have you yet let's take yet another look at the security tape. After committing the crime, the witness opened the locker to put away the white cloth. Uh, there we uh, go, uh. finally. For some reason you disguised yourself as Detective Goodman and entered the evidence room. I don't know what that reason was, yet. Yet. However, something unexpected happened. Officer Meekins appeared. When he asked to show your ID card, you pulled a knife on him. However, Officer Meekins panicked. And the white coat you were wearing was soiled with blood. A bloody white coat. That's very British of me. You couldn't just walk out like that. 
So you hid the code in your locker. <laughs> Not bad, huh, partner? Run, 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 run. Oh, there enough of the marshals. Are you ready to tell us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Looks like I underestimated. <laughs> Looks like I underestimated. I hope you're happy now, Mr. Edgeworth. <clears throat> Two years ago. If you were only half as persistent then as you are today. We all wouldn't have to be here now, would we? Officer Marshall, tell the court what you did. All of it. I done diddly diddly. Alrighty. I done diddly did it. <laughs> Seems the time has come. I had to do it that day. I couldn't just stand by and let it die. I stole the detective's ID and dressed like him. I planned to take out the evidence. I wasn't expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out. I managed to escape. I knew which areas couldn't be caught by the camera. There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 5.15. Well, since if he's gone for the now and I can't stop recording, uh, you can take over for the judge for a little bit. Hey! So, the supposed victim was really you. <laughs> but there's one thing I still don't understand. Large quantities of blood traces were found on the floor of the evidence room. If no one was murdered, then how could that be? Officer Meekins managed to cut his own hand. Like a dumbass. My guess is he's the donor. It looked like too much blood for that. I have to oh, I has a lot of blood. Him. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <coughs> when you say it, you mean... Do you even have to ask, partner? The SL9 incident. Two years have passed as that case was closed. It was going to completely end with the transferal that day. Not if I have anything to do with it. That incident's not over. But what did you hope to accomplish by sneaking into the evidence room? When a case is closed, only the detective who was in charge of it threw the evidence. I wanted to have a look at it myself one time. No matter what the cost. I don't care what anyone says, partner. That case is mine. But Officer Marshall wasn't in charge of that investigation. Why does he care so much about it? That day was my last chance. That's why I... Stole the detective's ID card. Why did you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman? If I didn't make it look like Dick Goodman was carrying out the evidence transferal, I'd be arrested for stealing evidence, which wouldn't get me anywhere. So you did it to fool the security camera. And the detective's ID card? Oh, he's back. I stole that the morning of the incident. So that really was why Goodman started filling out that lost item report. I returned his ID card, and then my goddamn computer went on to goddamn standby. <laughs> and I left it on the floor in the prosecutor's office parking lot. The ID card I found was left there by Avatar Marshall. So essentially, you managed to succeed despite your lack of foresight. What do you mean, partner? I mean the fingerprint activated lock, of course. No matter how well you disguise yourself, you can't change your fingerprints. Normally that locker shouldn't have opened. So it opened because of a rubber glove was stuck in the door by chance? And then Detective Goodman must have opened the locker before Officer Marshall. Alright, and press. You pulled a knife on Officer Meekins and tried to drive him off? Let's just say I was a little surprised. Shaving my beard, I can only do that so many times a day. 
I only planned on being in the evidence room for no more than five minutes. I didn't think anyone would actually come in during that short time. Um, I was to be concerned really is a one in a million type of person. Judge has a crush. Taking a detective for an intruder and demanding to show his ID. I'll have to think in a little more about his raise this year. Why do you have control of this? Um, oh. it's because for some reason, what well, the prosecutors? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's because the prosecutors um, get to attend the salary evaluations. Oh, okay. When did Edward yeah. get so much influence? Apparently, Phoenix anyway. lampshaded that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he threw himself at me, and I ended up cutting him slightly. I'm sorry it had to turn out that way. With me knocking him out and never then. By the way, what happened to your knife? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> I got it. I'm still shaving with it. What? I don't know what I say. Mm, so what happened next? What happened next is he shaved his beard infinite amount of times, so and now his beard smells like Meekin's blood. So you did your research beforehand. Those who go into the desert unprepared don't live long, partner. I didn't think it would make a difference, though. The security tape is erased every six hours. If all had gone to this plant, no footage, footage would have been left. No fetish would have been left. <laughs> However, That's right. you I'm bloody... king shaming the whole world. You bloodied your coat in your struggle with Officer Meekins. If someone was in the security room when I came out, the jig would have been up. I opened my locker, stashed it in there. What was Officer Makins doing during that time? What else? He was sleeping, like a baby. So what you're saying is, on that day... But the blood found on the scene certainly indicates a crime took place. What are you, blind? The victim shown on that tape is me, and I'm not dead yet, partner. So you stole the evidence from the locker? Actually, no it didn't. Why not? One there. <laughs> well, that sums up that pretty nicely, actually. <laughs> that is it. <is. laughs> what, Mr. Edgeworth, where is that evidence? It's still missing, Your Honor. <laughs> Wait, doesn't he have it? Detective Goodman's locker was already empty. No, it's because it's SL9, which means that the, the SL9 case was empty, which means that Edgeworth doesn't have access to it, so it couldn't have been him because he couldn't open the locker. No, I mean, like, doesn't Phoenix have it right now, though? Oh, I have SL9 files. Someone yeah. else stole the evidence! Officer Marshall, may I ask you one thing? Fire away, partner. It's a free country. Just remember, I'm also free to decide whether or not to answer. Why did you do this? Stealing a detective's ID. Injuring a police officer. This is no small offense. Moreover, you're an officer yourself. This will have serious consequences. It can't be given with just a simple cut in salary. Now that salary cuts are ever a valid solution. Like I said, this isn't your case. This one is mine. And I'll do anything it takes to get an answer I'm satisfied with. Hmm. The witness has an unusual amount of zeal. Let's hear him. Let's hear more. The fuck is zeal? I'm assuming he wants me to press uh, this statement. It's like conviction? Hmm. But that case was solved two years ago, wasn't it? That's the reason the evidence was stored in the evidence 
room. People die when they are killed. <laughs> Joe Dark was convicted for those crimes. One thing I can say for sure, he deserved his sentence. I remember the Joe Dark case like it was just weeks ago. I had a full set of hair back then. <laughs> Involved serial murders right, didn't it? I don't intend to complain about how it turned out. But there is something that still bothers me. Something went down at that trial. Something no one will talk about. What happened? Oh, there we go. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out. The iffy logic. Why is he so concerned with that incident? Maybe I should present him with what I think his real reason is? I had a feeling we'd wind up here sooner or later. Everyone involved here is related in some way to that case. I'd better take another look at the files. Well, it's evidence what the contradiction is. Then... It's not really a contradiction, but... OBJECTION! OBJECTION! Officer Marshall, I think I understand. I think I know why you care so much about the SL9 incident. <clears throat> Sounds like you've been sipping too much cactus juice, partner. Just like soccer from Avatar The Last Airbender. I have the SL9 <laughs> incident file here. The name Marshall is mentioned in here. Uh, but that's my name! In a list of murder victims, Neil Marshall. Are you related to this man? Neil Marshall? Yeah, I'm sure you've heard the name. Two years ago. He received the same lousy prosecutor award you got. Motherfucker. Iffy. Iffy. What? Prosecutor. You almost never find nice. those these days. Nice family guy what there. <laughs> yeah, he, must be, point, but... he must be talking about the King of Prosecutors Award. Now I remember. Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He handled the SL9 case before I did. That's right. He was killed. And the case fell into your hand. But that's... But what's his relation to you? No! Are you dumb? He was my brother. And we'll tear this up, And my story. husband. It could walk. <laughs> he was my husband. Next and my time. Brother's life. Uh, next time we're, on Phoenix Red, passion and we're, we're, not, we're not blood related. He's. Uh, so no. He, he was very Stop attractive. That.